Welcome into sports. Just over two weeks away from high school football returning. Our own Kevin Corr has to Morrison to catch up with the Mustangs. Now, where's it go? Last year, the Morrison Mustangs brought in a new head coach by bringing back a name from their past. We still got the same sort of jitters going into it. Um, the same sort of responsibilities that you kind of forget about that come in. It's just you kind of roll with the punches. Uh, I think this year there's a little bit of settled nerves, but there's still nerves there. This year, the Morrison Mustangs look to bring in a new conference, joining the NUIC. It's definitely something that some, being in the Northwest, you hear a lot of the Linas, you hear a lot of the Forestons, you hear a lot of the Fultons, the Dupegs, pretty much everybody in that conference is a playoff contending team year in and year out. So it's going to be tough week, to week in and week out. Bringing back a rivalry from the past, the Fulton Steamers. It was, uh, it was something that you circled on the calendar, you knew it was coming, and you knew it was the environment was going to be a little bit different, but you just kind of had to treat it. It was a game. <laughs> This group of Mustangs may have never played Fulton as conference rivals, but they do understand what it means to play for the wooden shoe, getting a taste of the rivalry last year in the postseason. I watched it all through junior high and all through elementary school, and I watched the rivalry between me and us and Fulton, and I'm excited to have it back. What does that shoe mean, to, to be able to have it here? I mean, we played them in the playoffs last year. We couldn't get it back because it's a regular season award, but I'm looking to get it back this year. It means a lot. Yeah, it's been a couple years, but it means a lot. Going for the wooden shoe this year and got a little preview last year, and uh, we'll just see in week nine. This group will have to replace about half of their varsity roster from last season, but the group still has high expectations after a 9-2 and two year. We started two years ago, like you said, 2-7, and seven, and that, we built on that from a different coach, and then Vandy came in and... Uh, Kept it going. We got better and better every day, each year, and just want to keep going. Group's looking great. We got a lot of new upcoming people, starters. They look good. We're just getting into our positions right now and figuring it out. Morrison will have to be ready right off the opening kickoff this season. Their first opponent as members of the Northwest Upstate Illini Conference, perennial state power, Lena Winslow. A matchup that the Mustang faithful in the stands will surely be needed. I think it's something that within our group we've talked about it's just doing the right things and it echoes on the field and then also in the community there's just it's a different buzz there's people are starting to talk about it they're excited about it and I think it's uh, it's a wave that's definitely welcome I love that the chatter about it is all positive and everybody's excited for the upcoming year in Morrison Kevin core KWQC TV six sports